All right, so inside EasyCut Studio, there is a crop tool. Uh, it may be hidden to you on your screen, and it's hidden right underneath the knife tool. So any thumbnail that you see that has a little black triangle in the bottom right corner, if you left click and hold, there's more options available to it. Uh, right here is the crop tool, so I'm going to go ahead and select it. So say, for example, I want to keep the, uh, the left side of the butterfly. I'd simply start over here on the left, click, drag, and move it to where I want. Now anything in the light area will be kept. Anything in the uh, darker shaded area will be you know, removed. So let's go ahead and to confirm it, all we have to do is hit the Enter key on the keyboard and now everything uh, that is within the cropped uh, bounding box was kept. So th that is the, the crop tool. Uh, like I said, found underneath the knife tool. Now something else I'm going to demonstrate with the crop tool. Uh, you know, let's say for example I go ahead and I, I copy this to my clipboard, I paste it. Uh, now I have two butterflies. If I wanted to simply crop this butterfly only, um, you know, I go to the crop tool and I do see this little check mark that says crop selection only. Well, if I don't have anything selected, and I go ahead and use the crop button, it's going to go ahead and delete everything. And that's not what I want. So let's go ahead and go back. Now the thing that you're gonna to need to do first is you're gonna to need to select the shape first and then go to the crop tool. And then use this check mark here that says crop selection only. And you can still see that the butterfly is still has that bounding box around it. So when I go and crop this, it is only going to utilize the butterfly that was selected and the other butterfly does remain. So that is how you use the, the crop tool with uh, you know only having a shape selected. So select it first and then go to the crop tool and make sure that this check mark is checked.